A now former treasurer for the American Gold Star Mothers of Florida is out of jail after being arrested on charges of stealing money from that organization, which serves families who've lost a loved one serving our country. WPTV's Megan McRoberts reports from Port St. Lucie. Lisa Heinz is back home tonight, actually in her home that was donated to her earlier this year because she is a Gold Star mother. She's accused of stealing thousands of dollars from an organization that I'm told would have been able to use that money to help other families just like hers. No one wants to become a Gold Star mother, but Lisa Heinz became one after losing her son who served overseas. The city of Port St. Lucie and a home builder this year showed their support to her, donating a mortgage-free home. We spoke to Heinz that day. I I know when I'm at the new home, when I walk in that front door, he's there hugging me. Making it harder to grasp new allegations against her. It's an unfortunate and heartbreaking situation for both the Heinz family and American Gold Star Mothers. The president of American Gold Star Mothers, Joanne Maitland, says Heinz was their treasurer. In a police report, Maitland told police she got an alert in October showing that their account had been overdrawn. When she asked Heinz about the balance, the report says Heinz claimed the overdraft alert was spam. But Maitland followed up with the bank and after reviewing transactions, found that between July and November of this year, Heinz made more than $4,300 in unauthorized charges. Heinz did not want to comment to us Monday night at her home. Maitland says while the alleged theft is concerning, she's also concerned about Heinz's well-being. The first question that comes to mind is the sheer fact of uh, how, why, the difficulties she she may or may not have been facing. Maitland says the money could have gone to others in need of help. The money goes to helping veterans and also um, helping other Gold Star families. She hopes people will continue to support their group, which relies on donations they hope to recoup to continue helping local families. And Heinz was able to post a $10,000 bond on specific felony charges of grand theft and fraudulent use of a credit card. In Port St. Lucie, I'm Megan McRoberts.